Atlanta's mayor is pushing everyone to complete the 2020 census. This as the final deadline approaches. Yesterday, volunteers started reaching out to colleges, senior living facilities and other places where people live in large groups to make sure they are counted. Next month, they will begin to focus on individual homes. Now, so far, about 61% of Americans have sent back their census responses. In Georgia, we're below that, sitting at almost 58%. Mayor Bottom says Atlanta's response rate is better than it was in 2010, but she wants as many people as possible to respond to make sure that they are counted in some of our state's most important decisions. It's how we get money into our state and into our city. It's how we get money for our schools, our hospitals, our infrastructure. Everybody wants better roads, and it's how we get um, representation in Congress. As well, it even determines how our council, city council district lines will be drawn. Well, not only is it a big decision for to uh, making or rather a big tool for making decisions, the census can also be very personal for Mayor Bottoms. It helped her keep records of her family history. This is a copy of the 1870 census. My grandmother's grandfather, a freed slave, is listed on the census. His name was Shepherd Peak, mm -hmm. and he was from Crawfordsville, Georgia. This is his picture here. And so I am um, reminded of so many things during this time, just about the, the struggles and challenges um, that my ancestors overcame. But to see him reflected on the census seven years after the Emancipation Proclamation, I think really speaks to this responsibility that we all have. And when I see that he took the time to be a part of the census in the midst of all that was happening um, <clears throat> in his world, then certainly we can all take time to do the same. Quite the family story there. Well, Mayor Bottom spoke with us about so many things from, from the state's response to coronavirus to school starting back in the fall. You can watch Sheba Russell's full interview with her right now on the 11 Alive YouTube page.